Have you ever seen that classic movie scene? Our hero, trekking through the jungle, takes one wrong step and suddenly they're sinking, screaming into a pit of quicksand. Within minutes, they're completely submerged, gone forever. It's terrifying, right? Well, what if I told you almost everything you think you know about quicksand, thanks to Hollywood, is a complete lie? Let's start with what quicksand actually is. It's not some mysterious, monstrous substance. It's just regular old sand or soil that's become supersaturated with water. Imagine a patch of sand, maybe near an underground spring or after a heavy rain. The water pushes the sand grains apart, creating a soupy, unstable mixture that can no longer support weight like solid ground can. So when you step on it, you sink. But here's the first major mythbuster: You won't sink all the way. Why? It's simple physics, really. Your body is actually less dense than the quicksand. Think about it. Quicksand is a mix of sand and water. You're mostly water, but you also have air in your lungs, and all your bones and tissues are less dense than a bucket of wet sand. So you'll sink, but only up to about your waist or chest, you'll float. It's like trying to sink a beach ball in a swimming pool. It just wants to pop back up. The real danger isn't being swallowed whole. So, if you're not going to drown in the quicksand, what's the actual threat? The real danger is getting stuck. This is where it gets tricky. The more you struggle and panic, the worse it gets. When you thrash around, you're essentially creating a vacuum around your limbs. The water flows out from the space around you, and the sand packs in tighter, gripping you like wet cement. It's this pressure that makes it incredibly difficult to pull yourself out. One study found that the force needed to pull your foot out of quicksand at just one centimeter per second is the same amount of force you'd need to lift a small car. That's insane! So what should you do if you ever find yourself in this sticky situation? First, and most importantly, don't panic. Take a deep breath. Try to drop anything heavy you're carrying like a backpack. Lean back, as if you're trying to float in a pool. Spreading your weight out will stop you from sinking further. Then, slowly and patiently, start wiggling your legs. This motion reintroduces water around your limbs, loosening the sand's grip. You can then try to slowly work your way backwards, toward the solid ground you came from using a swimming-like motion. The bottom line is, while stumbling into quicksand would be a pretty bad day, it's not the dramatic life-ending event the movies make it out to be. The real killer isn't the sand itself, but panic, exhaustion, dehydration, or exposure to the elements while you're stuck. So next time you see a character disappearing into a sandy abyss on screen, you can lean over to your friend and say, actually, that's not how it works at all.